Hello and welcome to an overview of the Shape Generator digital asset for Houdini. Uh, this has been based on a quite a popular Blender add-on uh, called uh, the Shape Generator by the same name. And uh, I've recently transferred it over to Houdini, link in the description, um, so that you can make use of Houdini's uh, procedural nature to configure lots of uh, interesting dynamic objects on the fly. Um, you can hear, see me here tweaking some of the parameters that I'm going to take you through uh, in the video later uh, just to show you the sort of nice um, abstract effects that you can get you can use for a variety of applications um, in Houdini. So installing the uh, digital asset is like any other uh, Houdini digital asset you can either install it in the default directory there or you can uh, install it by clicking import uh, and then down into Houdini digital asset and selecting the uh, Houdini file there and clicking either install and create or install so I'll, I'll just show you um, how to create it it's like creating any other piece of geometry in Houdini first of all you drop down a geometry node double click to go into that node and then the shape generator should be available uh, under the generators um, category uh, by default uh, and that will just very quickly create you a random 3d shape so the um, the node works by creating um, random extrusions which are controlled by a random seed here and there's also parameters to control the nature of those extrusions so you can change things like the amount of extrusions uh, here so you can decrease or increase them so if I'm just bringing them up there to a higher level if I bring them up to about 150 you can see sort of you know more intricate shapes um, emerge uh, and uh, there's other um, various properties that you can change uh, things like um, if you wanted to automatically subdivide all the edges um, uh, you, you can do that uh, just by dragging the bar up there um, you can change things like the extrusion amount so the length of the extrusion um, also I've put in various deviation parameters so that the extrusions aren't always uniform you can increase that deviation parameter and the amount will change by that deviation here I'm changing things like the tapering of the extrusion so that um, you can get sort of more sharper extrusion effects if you want and you can also kind of deviate the variation of that and that deviation be controlled by the random seed uh, you can also automatically add some beveling effects um, to the edges of the, um, the, the generated shape uh, you can control the number of segments there just to make it automatically a little bit smoother and it's also worth knowing that uh, this just generates a standard Houdini mesh so that you can use it with all the other uh, Houdini modeling nodes um, that are available to you uh, the SOPs as they call them uh, here uh, I'm, yeah, I'm just tweaking the bevel a little bit more just to tidy it up there's also some automatic mirroring and uh, effects that you can do so you can get more symmetrical shapes um, uh, and you, you know nothing stopping you going back and tweaking parameters uh, as um, Houdini does let you do that so I'll switch off some of those mirrors now um, some of the uh, other parameters that you can use uh, are things like weighting the uh, direction of the extrusion so uh, by default it will just kind of choose any any uh, direction in the X Y or Z axis uh, but you could you can change the weighting so that say for instance here it's it's only going in the um, the Z direction um, so that you can sort of control um, this, the direction of the shape so you can get kind of sort of you know longer objects or pointer objects um, and again go back and changing some of the tapering options which gives you um, quite a range of different shapes that you can create so I'll just set that back to default there now um, it'll also automatically create some um, uh, UV maps using the UV uh, unwrapping capability in Houdini. So if I just uh, 
show you that in the viewport that's the uh, UV map that's automatically generated from for the shape you can turn that off um, uh, I thought that'd be useful if uh, for some performance reasons if you wanted to generate lots of shapes at the same time say using the scatter uh, tool um, uh, you can also um, introduce further randomization you can create more than one shape uh, at a time so by default just create one piece of geometry but you can increase the number of pieces of geometry that are created um, and then you can also um, randomly um, position those shapes so here I'm putting a deviation on the, uh, the translation of the of, of the shapes that are created and then there's a separate seed that can control um, that um, that deviation in both the uh, transformation scale and the rotation of the shapes that are produced uh, so yeah it's worth, worth noting that you can introduce things like rotation um, to uh, to get all sorts of different effects uh, quite quickly um, here I'm playing with just some some of the standard kind of scaling um, functions that are built in as well so that you can uh, you can also kind of stretch those shapes out um, if you want to uh, and again going back and changing the seed gives you all sorts of different effects very quickly so that's about it and if you have any further questions or comments or suggestions for improvements uh, do let me know I hope you find it useful